show is called Why Would I Know This? And it's filled. You want us to? You want us to open that? Yeah, go ahead and open that. And it's filled with a bunch of shit. And it's pretty much. Why would I know this? It, it's it's Jeopardy. It's Jeopardy. <laughs> Let's just fucking get on with the show, please. Dude, my microphone sounds so bad. So we're gonna we're gonna start off with uh. A coin Hell flip. Hell yeah, let's start her up. We're, we're gonna start off with a coin flip here. Who wants what? Heads. Chris wants I heads? I want heads. I want heads. Wait, but you both can't have heads. You both cannot have heads. <laughs> I'll take heads. Number generator. <laughs> we'll go uh, max one to ten. Everyone pick a number. Okay. <laughs> say, say, say the fuck out loud, Chris. Oh. What do you want, Chris? What number? Three. Uh, okay. No, no, no. We <laughs> four. Give me a four. All right. So Chris at three and Brendan at four. Mhm. Mm All right. Let's generate it. Ten. Brendan. Get, get on, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so Brendan, you get to pick the first category. Our five categories today are sports, history, geography, science, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Geography oh. for three points. Geography for three points. Let's check it out here. When did South Sudan gain independence from Sudan? <laughs> I'm just gonna guess a range of a hundred years. Eighteen hundreds. Eighteen. Okay. All right. I'll give you a second guess, but it's it's got to be within the range of I'll say twenty years. I'll say twenty years. Eighteen fifty. <laughs> Is that your final answer? <laughs> the correct answer is 2011. <laughs> I, it's still Next me up. though. No, you, you missed it. Yeah, but he didn't get it either, so it's still mine. No, you missed it, which means it goes over to no, him. No, no. Chris, what would you like? I'll do sports for five. Sports for five? Big ballin'. What is the diameter of a hockey puck in millimeters? I'll give you within five millimeters. Within ten three. millimeters. I'll, I'll give you within three ten millimeters. You think, it, three millimeters. you think it's three millimeters? He I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you another guess. Six. Final answer. Guess on this. Is it final Am I answer? Guess on this. That's so wrong. That's... <laughs> You think I watch hockey? Funny I mean, answer. <laughs> you the fuck watches hockey, dude? I just don't think you know oh how big a millimeter god. is. Oh my god. Alright, because none of you have fucking points, Brendan, I will let you guess on this one. 45. You think it's 45? Yeah. 76. Mmm, fuck. Yeah. Six! Chris, Chris has left the fucking... <laughs> Which one do you want? Sports for one. Sports for one. What is LeBron James's favorite color? <laughs> Red. Mmm. The correct answer is blue. Oh, right. Sports for 11. Sports for 11. Who threw the first pitch to open the 2006 MLB season? All right, just to let you all know, the first pitch of an MLB season is usually thrown by a celebrity or a public figure of some sort. True, dude, true. Dude, you know, there's a lot of people that were, like, born in 2006, not including <clears throat> me. And there was a lot of people around in 2006. A lot of, a lot of big, famous people. Mm -hmm. Snooky. Um, Mr. Gage, I'm going to take my answer as Will Smith. Will Smith, final answer? Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's check it out. It was Donald Trump. <laughs> close. <laughs> Real close. <laughs> Not close at all. <laughs> the complete fucking opposite. Science for eight. Science for eight. Oh man, we're getting we're getting testy here. Orville Carlyle, the inventor of Sputnik <laughs> One, was a shoe salesman in what state? Oh, I thought this guy was from Russia. So oh, which I have a one? one in 50. I have a one in 50. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's 2% chance. <laughs> I'm marking out Alaska and Hawaii, because who the fuck lives there? Okay, that's a good... That's and good. Wyoming. Fuck Wyoming. Yeah. I think the West is just out completely. Fuck the West. Okay, that's fair. I think this is the East. Okay. Uh, it makes sense. Nah, dude, with a name like Orville, ah, oh, fuck. Nebraska. Final answer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Only Nebraska motherfucker named their kid Orville. Oh, since Brendan has got one correct, uh, he can go for another one. Sports for eight, we're hot. Sports for eight. Which player was the first to score in the Raiders' new dome in 2020? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this could also be a not Raiders player, though. It very well right. could be. Fuck, who the Raiders start the season again? They played the Saints. Who the fuck could have scored? Taysom Hill wasn't playing yet, so it couldn't have been that motherfucker. Josh Jacobs, final answer. Final answer. Yeah. No, it was Will Lutz, their kicker. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> stupid shit. Leonardo DiCaprio for three. So, uh, Arnie Grape in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. That's a movie? Yep. You know, we gotta do a thing where, like... Oh my fucking god. Is the answer Leonardo DiCaprio? I don't know. Do you want to go with that? Honestly, uh, I have no other would, clue. I would not go with that if I were you. Leonardo DiCaprio, I know, final but answer. I know who it is, Leonardo though. DiCaprio, yeah, I final don't. answer? I, I, yeah, sure. Good job. It was Leonardo who DiCaprio. Thought? Who would have oh thought, Chris? Who would have fucking god. thought? Nice. Oh, All oh right, Chris, god. let's go. Geography for five. Geography for five. Which animal swam to Madagascar before, before humans discovered the island? Swam? Yeah. No, swam. Swam. <laughs> Which animal swammed over there before us? Gotta think of animals that swim. Where, is that a port of fucking chocolate milk? Swim to Madagascar. It had to be from Africa, because I don't think an animal would swim from fucking India to Madagascar. What are you thinking, Chris? Think out loud for us. Think out loud. Well, from Africa. You, you gotta think of a fucking animal from Africa that can swim that, can that swim? far yeah, and survive. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, Madagascar is very far away from Africa, apparently. It's not. It's, it's not, no, it's not it's that not far. That just, far. <laughs> it's an island of... right next to it. All right, whatever. Hippo. That's my answer. Final answer? Final answer. It was a hippo. <laughs> Chris, choose another section. Uh, can we do there history be, for three? Not, be, history for point. three. Ketchup was sold in the 1830s as what? 1303. It means 1830s. Start the 22nd timer. Tomato paste. What the fuck did you just say? Ketchup was sold in the 1830s as what? A condiment? You said tomato paste. He... <laughs> it was sold as medicine, Chris. <laughs> tomato paste. What? <laughs> DiCaprio for, for my record. Leo 11? Dale and Step Brothers. Who played Dale and Step Brothers? Oh. What the fuck is his name? Uh, what the fuck is, what his, is name? his name? No, what is his name? Oh <laughs> no. no. The curly headed fucker. I'm gonna What's go put name? my nut set on your drum set. Yes, I know, I know, <laughs> I know what you're saying. He wakes right up now. and he goes, the clown has no penis. You know that guy, the funny guy? Yes, the guy with the curly hair, he wears glasses. He's yeah, the that same guy. fucking idiot in every movie. He's, uh, he's also in uh, Talladega Nights. A really I can't good one. his name. I really can't. What other? I mean, just throw a name out there. What other movies was he in? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> Is it gonna help me? No, I'm not even gonna. Wait, Chris, do you, do you have? Do you know what it is? Yeah. You know his name. How the fuck do you know his name? Are you choosing to not answer at all? No, because I'm. Can if I, I don't, it? then if I don't, then he takes it. So I'm just gonna throw one out there that I know is not right at all. Chris brought him up earlier. Will Smith, baby. <laughs> Is it Will Smith? Uh, it's John it? C. Riley. Can I do history for one? <clears throat> history for one. Why the fuck is that? Who's the seventeenth president? 
odd number there. That is an odd number. Literally. Correct. It does end in a seven, yeah. It's also a prime number. Do you know that? Also a prime prime number. number. It is, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you know what that means, Chris? You know, if I actually... (laughs) If I knew the answer to this, that means this president must have done something big. He probably didn't do shit. So I'm just going to take a wild... I'm going to take a wild guess. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to throw a name out there. Okay. Because I'm not going to let Brendan have it. Of course. Because I know Brendan, it, he he is a more, like a really intelligent, intel, intelligent. What the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. Fuck Brendan. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Final Theodore answer. Roosevelt, seventeenth U.S. president. Final answer. <laughs> locking in. Let's see who it is. It is Andrew Johnson. <laughs> Sports for three. Sports for three. What size is Shaq's feet? Oh fuck! He has to get a custom shoe size. It's like fucking twenty-three or something huge. Yeah, it is up there. Let me this twenty-three final answer. It sounds right. All right, twenty-three. Let's check it out. Twenty-three for Brendan. I do love me some Shaq feet. <laughs> Eleven to eight. Brendan is in the lead. Brendan gets the next pick. Let's see <laughs> I what love it Shaq is. Feet, man. Science for five. Science Whoa. for five. What is the average temperature on Neptune? <laughs> I'll give you within, like, the range of, like, uh, 20. Think about where the planets are, you know? Yep. Hoffman. Think about it in my head. Can't think out loud. I don't want to say some dumb shit to be laughed at. Right. I'm just going to keep it in my head. It does make it entertaining if you do do it out loud, though. And there's You're no right. dead air. I actually don't know the order of the planets, if I'm going to be honest. I don't. Mercury, I don't. Venus, Earth, Mars. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Jupiter Saturn, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus Neptune, Neptune, Pluto. Neptune, Pluto. But Pluto doesn't exist. Pluto, Pluto was so mean. cold, it was a frozen rock. Correct. So Neptune is definitely way far in the negatives. Way far in the negatives. Well, it's so cold. Man, like, I think you would freeze to death if you were on there. Very yeah, fast. Yeah, you, like, you, you wouldn't would live. Freeze solid. Negative 200 Celsius, maybe? <clears throat> Negative 200 Celsius? Let's see what it is. Yeah. Negative 200 Celsius! Looky there, Brendan gets five more points on his total, doubling Chris's score. Geography for eight, dude. Geography for eight. What is the shortest mountain? <laughs> the shortest mountain is the hill in my backyard. <laughs> uh, this mountain is a registered mountain, and it is the shortest mountain in the world. Dude, that's crazy, because it's not in the United States, then. Uh, I know it's not in the United States. I mean, fuck. Fuck. I'll, uh, I'll, allow, I'll allow if you say the country, because you probably won't get the fucking name of the mountain, but I'll allow the country. I don't fucking know, dude. Russia's a really big country. It covers pretty much the entirety of Asia, so I'm just gonna say Russia. Russia? It's in Russia. Uh, Mount Wishaproof. Let's see where Wishaproof is. What the fuck is Mount Wishaproof? If it's if it's like the size of my backyard, I'm mad. Oh, it's in Australia. Australia. Oh. Uh, that is a mountain? It is 141 feet tall. Chris, you're up <laughs> Can I do geography for 11? Of course you can do geography for 11. Let's see what it is. How many lakes leave? are in America? Good luck, buddy. Oh my god. You might as well just throw a number. You can't even think about it. There's no. so many fucking lakes. I can name like five, and there's like th- fucking 4,000. Sounds way too small for America. Sounds like a lot of lakes, 4,000. Sounds like a lot to me. Quite a bit. But scattered around everywhere in America? Wild guess, but like somewhere around 26,000? Final answer? Final answer? Uh, 245. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? 245 <laughs> lakes in America? How big do you think America is? 26,000! <laughs> History for 11. We're taking all the 11s off. Oh, we're taking all the 11s out of here. When was sliced bread invented? These no, I think I think sliced cool. bread. Sliced bread came definitely after the, the Revolutionary War. Mother, <laughs> soldiers weren't eating sliced bread back then, you know. Yeah, they so were just like ripping it off. The, they were ripping it off the loaf. It's past the 1700s. For this one, I'll give you a 20-year uh, difference. I don't think they waited until the 1900s. To, you know what? They might have. They probably waited there... until the war. <laughs> Was there sliced bread in World War II? I don't know. <laughs> actually... eating pieces of bread? Dude, I feel like sliced bread is relatively new. I, I would assume How so. How new is sliced bread? People say it. Oh, it's it's fresher, like older than sliced bread. But what, sliced bread sounds kind of new, right? Uh. Like 19, <laughs> 1940, final answer. All right, let's check it out. 1928. 
But you That's did get within 20, twenty years, yeah. Boom. History for eight. History for eight. Let's see. When was the first lemonade stand open? The difficulty between the last one and this one is just so fucking crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> At least I could think about it. Like when were people eating sliced bread? But lemonade stands could have been like fucking some little kid with a little peasant kid in the fucking 1400s opened up a stand and sold water or some shit. Oh, the the first official lemonade stand is what we're talking no, about. Doc, here. The first documented lemonade stand. <laughs> yeah, right. pretty pretty much. <laughs> fucking tribal stones. They like, wrote it on the walls. <laughs> Were lemonade stands in World War II. <laughs> 1950 final answer. 1950 final answer? They were in 1941, right after the war. <laughs> yeah. That's before World War II, by the way, Gage, not after it. Oh, yeah, it ended in 44. That's fine. <laughs> World War II, they were, that's what caused the World War II. <laughs> science for 11. Science for 11. What is the scientific name of the fruit fly? It is actually like so crazy long, isn't it? I feel like I remember. I remember seeing it a long time ago, but it's way too fucking long. Fruticus flyacus. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer: Fruticus flyacus. <laughs> Fruticus flyacus. It's actually Drosophila melon melon melonogaster. Drosophila melonogaster. <sighs> Leonardo DiCaprio for five. For five. Rick Dalton in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Fuck. I know this. That's this hurts. Have you seen that movie? This is the one movie I haven't seen by Quentin Tarantino. Oh, it's so fucking good. Rick Dalton actually plays as an actor in the movie. And his buddy is a stunt double. And they, like, uh, make TV shows. This is a wild guess. Wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio in this movie? Uh, no? That's for yeah. you to determine, I think. I'll tell you he was in the movie. That's how confident. Rick Dalton kind of sounds like a main character, though. There's another wild guess. I'm going to say Leonardo DiCaprio again. Leonardo DiCaprio for Rick Dalton and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Let's see what it is. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. Looky oh there. Oh my fucking god. This is up one to that I chose was points. John C. Riley. Why is oh my mine god. John C. Riley? Let's just do the big Leo for eight. Big Leo for eight. Buck Merrill and the Outsiders. Might as well just guess the same fucking thing. I've got no fucking clue. I'm gonna say Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio, final, final answer? answer. It was Billy Bob Thornton. Who the fuck is Billy Bob Thornton? You know, Bad fuck News it. Bears? Bad, you haven't seen Bad News Bears? Mm -mm. Oh my god. Brendan, have you seen uh, Bad News Bears? I'll take history for five. Yes, I've seen Bad News Bears. The kid in the wheelchair is my favorite part. Which five <laughs> instruments did Richard Nixon know how to play? <laughs> if you can name at least three, I'll give you the points. <laughs> If you can name at least three of the five instruments that President Richard Nixon, Richard Nixon does not played. seem like a sophisticated man. He I can see him playing the harmonica at most. <laughs> Guitar, piano. Guitar, I feel like piano. Like those two are probably close. I feel like piano is a given. Okay. Those are two. Yep. I don't know, like a, a saxophone maybe. Saxophone. Uh, okay, so go strong guess. Like someone's breaking in. A harmonica. I know he'd be spitting all harmonica, in that. Harmonica. All right. What's your last one? Your last one might determine it here, maybe. I, think I don't know, he might be able to play the play the drums. He can play the, the drums. drums. So you have two yeah. two percussion instruments, guitar and drums? Yeah. Final answer is guitar, piano, saxophone, harmonica, and drums. Yeah. You got piano, saxophone, and the rest were clarinet, accordion, and violin. I knew it. He seemed like a clarinet motherfucker, dude, and I got it. <laughs> I had it. Science for three. Science for three. How much pee can you hold? How big are your balls, Chris? <laughs> Why is that a question I have never actually checked? <laughs> I feel like that's something you actually have to check during your life. To see how much pee you can store. Why? Why? So you can, like, test your fucking threshold? Like... <laughs> three liters of pee, sorry. Three liters. Three liters of three pee. Three liters of piss. Two cups. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> you can only hold two cups. Yep. Two cups? Are you <laughs> fucking <laughs> serious? <laughs> yeah. Can you Think imagine about how big pissing, your bladder is? pissing a fucking two liter of fucking Big Red? Can't you imagine <laughs> that? There's no way you have a two liter in your fucking... Yeah, how the fuck can you fit a two liter in your abdomen? <laughs> Science for one, fuck it. When was gravity discovered? 1830, final answer. 1830, it was 1687. 
Chris, what you got? What were people doing before 1687? <laughs> Leo for one. Leo for one. All right, let's see. Calvin Candy and Django Unchained. <sighs> Another Quentin Tarantino movie. Another yeah. Another Quentin Tarantino movie. Fucking good, good one. It was a good movie, yeah. Calvin Candy. Calvin Candy. Mr. Candy? Candyland? Hey, this one's actually not Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think so. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I don't like it. Right <laughs> it's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I didn't think so. <laughs> Chris. Where is Djibouti? Chris, where is Djibouti? <laughs> what? Where is Djibouti? <laughs> what continent is Djibouti in? Or what country? Oh, no, what continent? Um, I'm just gonna say Egypt, final answer. What? It's in Egypt. Final what answer. continent? Oh, continent? Oh, fuck. What continent? Egypt. <laughs> Egypt's in... up north of... Why are you talking about Egypt? <laughs> Do you think I know where the fuck the Djibouti is? <laughs> you, just, you said continent. You're so focused on Egypt, and that's it. Oh. Djibouti, Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Djibouti, Chad, Africa. <laughs> God damn it, Chris, give me a fucking answer, please. What continent is Djibouti from? Chris, where is Djibouti? Just say Africa and get Chris, it over Chris, where is Djibouti? Answer. Africa. It's in Africa. What? Holy shit. Ooh. It didn't fucking matter. It was worth one point. Brendan wins. Oh my god. Oh, oh. my god. Oh, Brendan is man. the winner. Simply too easy. How does it feel, Brendan? How does it feel to be a winner? Uh, you know, as soon as I got Nebraska right, I just figured it was a downhill slope from there. I knew that it was going to get easier as I went forward. You know, competition was hard. Competition was heavy. Really proud of uh, of how Chris did. Yeah. Um, and that's really it. I'd like to thank Chocolate Milk for this W. Brendan, you actually get a reward for winning. That's a right. reward for winning. We tune in over to the stream here. You get a PSA 10 Shinx. That's right, a Pokemon card from XY Breakout. A PSA 10 Shinx. It's in good condition. Even if I do the uh, the tear test, you can see right here that the ink is right there, so it's a 100% real card. How do you feel? <laughs> I would have rather been given like a dollar. <laughs>